This video is meant to clarify the conclusions and implications of what is legitimately a large change to climate science directly involving carbon emissions. While many headlines have sensationalized this story since the earth-shaking paper was first published on September 18th, here are the facts. These are the scientists who invented carbon budgets. They're considered the world's experts and developed the IPCC models for carbon budgets. They have concluded now that the radiative warming effect of carbon dioxide was overestimated by about 50%, a not-so-insignificant number, and this has the practical effect of meaning that the amount of CO2 humans can release before hitting the 1.5 degree warming mark is now two to three times higher than the world thought just a day before this paper was published. This can be visualized in the past thinking, left, versus the current thinking, right. The colored ovals are the key. They represent different amounts of pollution emission of carbon dioxide, and they should appear at about the same height on both charts, and that is the key. The vertical axes are what is different, and here that means that what caused a two degree warming in the way we used to think now is understood to only cause one. What would have caused us to warm 3.5 degrees before, we now realize would only have a 2.5 degree warming effect, and so on. So what does this mean when the world's most respected carbon budget scientists tell us we've overestimated CO2 models by 50%? Well, here's a very simplified chart of how this all gets to your eyes and ears. They make the models, and then they use them to estimate what effects we have had and what effect we are going to have, including the direction of industry and the economic need for pollution-intensive processes. This is where the process ballooned into the now $50 billion a year industry that includes thousands of grants, thousands of scientists, thousands of papers, which informs and complements an enormous innovative and process-heavy aspect of the cost structure. What's more relevant at that level is the 97% consensus and the messages, arguments, and the actual policies that are put in place. Turns out 50% is a big deal when it comes to global economic policy discussions, the claims made in political discourse as well. Did I hear Canada wants to prosecute those who question climate science? I say they try to arrest these scientists, the mainstream science carbon budget gods. How dare this heresy spring forth from such a divine house positioned at the foundation of all climate papers and climate claims of the past decade? The media's crucifixion of anyone who would say this on September 17th was absolute and certain, and yet not one word now that the best of their own have come forth. Definitely jump the gun on telling kids in school we know exactly what we're talking about with climate change, huh? How mad are they going to be? The important bit in all of this is that literally every mainstream climate paper discussing human effect or estimating the future temperatures or sea level rise now must be rewritten. We're talking tens of thousands of papers from dozens of countries, hundreds of universities and organizations. All have to be rewritten. One of the fundamental variables has been cut back after a 50% overestimation. And coming up in the next official climate models alongside that is this. For the first time in the history of climate models, the sun will be appropriately factored. Until now, there has only been a 0.1% solar variability over the 11-year sunspot cycle, and nothing else has been placed on the sun as being relevant for climate change. Well, this is just one of a number of new data sets that will put the sun in its proper place with numerous factors from sunspots to geomagnetism to radio flux to cosmic rays all getting their fair place and often with a multiple orders of magnitude fluctuation over the solar cycle. For reference, the lines represent on the left the official climate data start point, 1880, and on the right it shows where we are today. The purple star is the mark signifying the start of the much-famed global warming pause. Carbon taking a huge cut, the sun getting out of science jail, the picture has officially changed. You will find a link to the carbon effect paper and the solar data paper in the description box below this video on YouTube. You can read about the hundreds of solar forcing papers that will no longer be ignored in our layman's book, Weatherman's Guide to the Sun. Be safe, everyone.